Hey, what's up guys? Tim here. Uh, I wanted to show you a real quick trick uh, that you can do if you ever find yourself photographing uh, a wedding or another event with two cameras and you forget to time sync them beforehand. Here's a little trick that'll make that easier uh, in post. So I'm in Lightroom right now and I'm looking at my two cameras that I used, a 5D Mark II and a 5D Mark III. If you use the same camera body, you can actually sort this by serial number as well. Um, but I think for this, it's going to be easier to keep them sorted like it is here. Um, the other thing you have to do at some point during the uh, during the event, uh, I like to do it right at the ceremony because that's the most important time to make sure the images are in sequence, at least for me, is take a picture of the back of one of your camera after, after you set it into um, the time and date mode. So I'm looking at uh, this image here, and you can see it's a little bit out of focus, but it's clear enough to read doesn't matter because the client's not going to see it. Um, 5D Mark III, so this is the camera I used to capture it, so we're looking at the back of the Mark II right now. Um, if I go back to the grid view and filter it by just the images captured on the Mark III, what I can do is select all these images by either hitting Control A or I believe Command A or Option A on the Mac uh, to select all these. If I go back to all the cameras, you can see that uh, just the images from the Mark III have been selected. So from here, what I want to do is I'm going to hit the loop view just to make this a little bit easier. You can also write this down if that's uh, if you prefer to do that. I go up to metadata, hit edit capture time, and my this is showing the time on the 5D Mark III when this image was taken, so 4:26 and 19 seconds. Uh, the back of the Mark II says uh, 426 and 47 seconds. You can, might be able to see it in there as well. So it's off by about 30 seconds. Not a big deal, but big enough if you're trying to keep these in sequence. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and change that 19 to 47 seconds and hit change. And that's all there is to it. You see these just shifted around because I'm sorted by capture time. But now if I go through here to look, all the images are in the correct order. Uh, so hopefully that you find that to be a pretty useful tip. It only takes a couple seconds. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Thanks for watching.